Hi golfers and welcome. I'm Coach Carolyn, former professional tour player and Ledbetter certified instructor. And today I want to talk to you guys about your fairway woods. We're going to dive into how you should be feeling and what you should be feeling when you're hitting that three wood or five wood, how it's different to the irons and how you can start getting really comfortable with these woods from the fairway and be hitting your greens from 180 to 200 yards. All right, so my fairway woods are probably my second favorite club. Um, First is my driver, then it's my favorite woods, and then it's my putter. <laughs> I realize we're going from like very far on this end of the spectrum to very far on that end of the spectrum, but everybody's different. I do thoroughly enjoy hitting it really far and making putts. So here is what I love to think and point out when I'm going to hit a fairway wood. So a fairway wood is more like a driver, if you will, than it is like an iron in the sense of how you set up. Everything is pretty similar. Um, because they're built similarly, right, to the driver. You want to make sure that your ball position is on your left heel with a five wood. Does my five wood? Yes. Same with a three wood. Five wood you can get away with putting a little bit, you know, further back into your stance, maybe one ball away from your left heel. And then you want to essentially feel like you're just brushing the grass and you're just sweeping this off the ground. You never want to take a divot with your fairway wood. This is not like an iron where you're hitting down on it and you want to hit the ball first and then the ground as in taking a divot. Um, very rarely do people take divots with, the, with their fairway woods. If the ground is really soft and you take a little bit of one just because you know the ground kind of gave way, that's fine. But we're not hitting down on the ball with a fairway wood and we're not feeling like we're hitting down. We want to make sure we want to hit up. So make sure that you keep that ball position um, definitely move forward in your stance. So it's really important with a fairway wood to feel like you're sweeping that ball off the ground. You do not want to feel like you're hitting down on it. You don't want to feel like an iron where you're compressing the ball down and then you're hitting the ball first and then the ground, you're taking a big divot. You really don't want to be taking a divot with a fairway wood. It's more of a brushing the ball off the ground. So with a fairway wood, it is a little bit more similar to a driver. You do want to feel like you're hitting a little bit more up on it than an iron, but ideally it's a very, very neutral type impact. Um, so a couple of things that I want to go through with you guys, making sure that your ball positions, as we mentioned, is more in the front of your stance, making sure you have that K position, a little bit of that dropped hip, right hip or trail hip, depending on if you're righty or lefty, as well as your trail shoulder, and then just feeling like you're sweeping the ground. And when you take your practice swings, make sure you feel like you're just brushing the ground here. And as you can see, my body is very stable. I'm not moving, you know, my head's not moving. So really keeping that head very still on your fairway woods, it's going to help you a lot to actually sweep them off the ground and really just kind of rotate. Once you've set up your good posture and your setup, keep your head still and really just try to sweep that ball off the ground. So let's hit one. I'm setting up, I'm aiming straight, I'm dropping that right hip a little bit, dropping that right shoulder a little bit, and now I feel like I'm going to keep my head really still and sweep that ball off the ground. Crushed little five wood. So it's really important to just feel very stable with your body. Rotate around that head. Do not let that head move. Don't let it move up or down either. Really make sure we're not standing up. We're not losing our spine angles. And that's really going to help you get good and consistent contact with your fairway woods every single time. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tip. It's a short one, but it's a good one. And let me know in the comments below if you've tried it, how it's done for your game. Also, always let me know what you're working on and if you want me to talk about something specific in my next video i'm here for you guys i'm here to help you so i'm always ready to film whatever you guys are struggling with so if you guys like this video make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button so you get notified every single time i upload a video i do this at least once a week so there's free golf tips coming your way if you do subscribe thank you so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you guys next time